All right, guys, today we're going to talk about how what happens above happens inside of us. And as the atmosphere heats, the Arctic air plunges south. And at the same time, many of you are feeling it. The ringing in your ears, the heart palpitations, the fatigue. It's real. And tonight, we're connecting the dots from atmospheric disturbances to electromagnetic frequency exposure. All right, let's get right into it. What's up, Sky Watchers? What is up indeed? Friday, November 7th, 2025. Things are heating up in the atmosphere before they freeze to the ground. I've been tracking intense ionospheric activity all week from the European Scientific Scatter Association, ISCAT. From catastrophic floods in the Philippines to record-breaking king tides along the U.S. coasts, we're watching the jet stream buckle and twist unnaturally. Now that same manipulated flow is steering a deep arctic blast straight into the heart of our country. So brace yourselves, the engineered jet stream is about to open the gates to winter. This weekend, November 8th through the 10th, 2025, a significant arctic cold front will sweep across the eastern half of the United States, bringing the first accumulating snow of the season to the Great Lakes region and a widespread season first freeze all the way to Florida. The Great Lakes region, a strong storm system moving from the plains will usher in an early taste of winter this weekend. The lake effect snow machine is expected to activate. The same Arctic air mass will plunge southward bringing record challenging cold to the southeast including Florida. All right guys, now let's talk about electromagnetic frequency exposure when the fields come alive. Have you ever noticed that sudden wave of dizziness? That instant where your ears start to ring and your heart skips, your hands tremble just a little, and for a second the world feels tilted. Sometimes there's pressure behind the eyes or a mood shift that comes out of nowhere, calm one moment and anxious the next. Many of us feel it when the sky hums, when storms or heavy transmissions roll through, or when the static in the air changes. Every heartbeat, every spark or thought, every step we take runs on electricity. The brain, the nerves, and the heart are built on microscopic currents. When strong or rapidly pulsing electromagnetic fields surround us, those currents can go slightly out of balance. Inside the head sits the vestibular system, the body's gyroscope. It's a delicate network of fluids and hair-like sensors that tell us where level is. When external fields disturb the ions in that fluid, the signal wobbles. The result is a brief spinning or sideways pull you feel. At the same time, those same fields can create pressure changes in the auditory nerves. That's the microwave auditory effect, a vibration inside the skull that the ear interprets as ringing clicks or high tones that no one else can hear. Down in the chest, the heart is listening to. Its rhythm depends on the vagus nerve, another electrical pathway. A sudden pulse or shift in that field can make the heart flutter or pound harder for a moment, leaving a sense of weakness or breathlessness before it settles back. It's the body's own electrical orchestra reacting to an unexpected note. And let's go even a little deeper to the mitochondria inside every cell. Each one keeps about 150 millivolts across its inner membrane, spinning out the energy we live on. When the external frequencies overlap that voltage, electrons stumble. Reactive oxygen builds and the cell's energy output drops. That's the fatigue, shakiness, and fog that can follow long exposure to wireless fields and dense signal zones. When calcium floods in through open channels, the mitochondria strain even more, producing bursts of oxidative stress that ripple through the whole body. Irritability, headaches, mood swings, or the sense of being amped up for no reason. Now layer that over the air we breathe. What goes up? Industrial aerosols, dust, particulates, stratospheric aerosols, tropospheric aerosols. They all eventually come down settling into the soil the water, absorbed by roots and carried into food. When a charged atmosphere meets conductive particles, the field we live in becomes even more reactive. Trees, 
bees, and people all sense that tension in different ways. So how do we steady ourselves? Create distance from constant emitters, keep phones off the body, move routers away from the bed, shut the devices off at night, hydrate well, replenish magnesium, and get real sleep in darkness. These help the nervous system reset. Spend time outdoors, barefoot, or in contact with the ground. Natural fields help discharge the static load that we build up indoors. And breathe. It's as simple as that. The steadier your breath, the steadier your internal current. Now, I also use iodine. I put a few drops in my water. The technology isn't leaving, but awareness is power. All right, sky watchers, stay aware, be prepared, and until next time, keep looking up.